So today we're going to recreate these little fish nails with some bubbles, a bit of ombre in the background. So I'm just going to use some of my cheap gels just because I don't want to waste my nice ones. I'm going to use this sponge which I've already used. I'm just going to place the blue wherever I want it. Not going to matter too much because the I want it all to blend anyway. I'm just going to dab it across. So you get like a nice fade. It's not going to be sharp to start with. Annoyingly, I've got a hair. Okay, so pop that into cure. While that's curing, I'm going to put some more paint on. Polish. I'm going to go up and down so you don't get any lines and there's an equal blend. Just like that. Cure it again. I'm going to do the polish one more time. I think I'm using a bit too much but it doesn't matter. So already we're getting quite a good blend on there. I'm going to go in one more time. Just keep working it in back and forth till you're happy. But it's all covered. And you got a really good ombre. Pop that into cure for 30 seconds. Then I'm just going to matte top coat it. Just in case I make any mistakes, I want to just have a nice base. Pop that into cure. So while that's curing, we're going to do this bubble part just here. For that, we need to water down the white. So here I've got my dab of white. I'm just going to get some um, like base coat. I'm just going to drop it in. Maybe another one. I want it really wish washy. Look at that ombre. 
Oh, I'm addicted to ombre. Look at it. Ooh, love it. Right, then we're just going to get any sort of a flat brush, give it a mix. You just want to make sure it's really watery. And then you're going to paint it over where you want the bubbles to be. So I'm going to just paint it over. It doesn't matter if it's a bit liney, you won't see that anyway. like that. I'm going to do a bit bottom. like that. Then you're going to just leave that. I'm going to get some top coat. Just pop it on my palette. Okay. Just move these out of the way. Then you're going to get a dotting tool. Don't want one with too big of a dot, but. And then you're just going to go in your top coat and dot where you want the bubbles to be. Just lightly touching that wet white coat. And as you can see, it sort of stays in its bubble, but it sort of bursts out as well. So you get almost like a. That's a bubbly effect. Quite like it. You can do it in loads of different colours. Like so. Then we're going to do it in the bottom. Don't have to be in a pattern. Just anywhere. Just try not to let the bubbles touch. They're going to sort of bloom out in that non-cured white anyway. Okay, so when you're happy with your little bubbles, you're just going to pop it into cure. I'll just quickly do a quick flash cure of 30 seconds. Then, I'm going to go on to the little fishies. So for that you're going to need an orange, a red, a white and, which I haven't got ready, a black. Just for the eyes. Okay so now that is all cured and looking lush. We're going to go in with a fine liner, striper brush, and just get a little bit of your orange. I'm just going to make like a circle shape. Obviously you can do different fishes if you like. Just going to do a rough base. Because then we're going to add another layer and blend a little bit of the red and the white through. So that's one tail. Just 
It makes his body slightly bigger. And just keep playing with it until you're absolutely happy. And then I'm just going to add little fins at the top to either side. Like so, I might make this one a little bit bigger. You want to make it look like he's swimming away a little bit. Pop that into cure just quickly. Then we're going to move on. I don't know if you can see it. Excuse my hideous nails. We're going to put a few little red stripes and a few white stripes just to give him a little bit of character and a few little dots. And then his eyes. So for that I'm going to just go back in with the orange. Oh, put some on my brush and wipe that off. Just to give it that little wet layer so that the colours are actually going to blend in. They're not going to just be like lines. Just to make him a little bolder as well. Then you're going to wipe off. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the red. Almost sort of drag it down the body. Just giving him a little detail. And then just run a tad white through. If there's anything that you don't like about it, just go back through with the orange just to break it up a little bit. All you're doing is literally adding little bits just to give him, make him look up here. A bit more detailed. That when you're happy, just quickly pop it into flash cure. So we're just going to give them a little bit more detail. We're just going to go on the outside here, just give him a little bit more white, just so he looks like he's a bit more 3D, and then a couple of little dots and some dots for an eye. So we're going to go back into our white. So make him a little bit more 3D. I'm just going to get a really small pointer dotting tool. I'm just going to give him a few little dots. And then because we haven't touched the top, we can actually give him his eyes now as well. So just wipe that white off. Give him a couple of little dots for the eyes. And while we're still with the dotting tool, actually, we could just add a couple of little bubbles so he looks like he's in the water. And then some at the top. You don't want to do it too close to these bubbles either because we're going to put a little bit of foil detailing in there. So now he's ready, we're going to cure. 30 seconds. While you're doing that, you want to move your palettes out of the way. 
we're gonna use the stripe brush again and get our stick it and I just got some silver foil some with matte so that the foil doesn't stick everywhere Oops, sorry. You're going to get your stick it. Just wait for that to cure. Give it at least 30 seconds because you don't want any of it to be tacky. Lovely. So we're going to go down this bit and down this bit obviously you can do it wherever you like but I'm gonna just do like a little wavy almost like chain basically wherever you want it to be a bit shiny with the foil you want to add the stick it Like that. And then the bottom bit. I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, you can. Make that one a bit more rounded. Lovely. And I'm just going to pop that into cure for the 60 seconds in my sun UV lamp. Okay, so now that is all cured. I'm just going to get my foil. Just dab it over. might need to press it a bit harder in some places that's fine like so now if there's anywhere that you're not keen on like this bit where there's like two holy bits I'm just gonna get a tad of acetone on my brush And you can just work away. You see that? Out of the places that you're not fond of. And that'll just pull that foil away. Simple as that. And you're gonna just top coat. And there you have it. Little swimming fishies with bubbles. This is the one we've just done. Thanks for watching.